What is up, guys? Dashing here for episode 469 of... Can Wait a minute. Yes, 469. Damn it, I got it right. I messed myself up. 469 of Community Universe Mode here for edition number 3 of Thursday's NGW, our developmental brand here in CMV. And what is up, all? Big Bateman, the love of my life. Topher, Gamer Hellish, what up? Welcome in. <laughs> ah, there's Big Baby Soul dropping in just in the nick of time as we are uh, later than usual for NGW, but this is probably what I'm going to be streaming up from now on on Thursdays because for Emergence and Fusion earlier this week, I streamed around this time and there was no lag at all. I don't want to jinx it, which I probably did. Rip in peace. So I'm going to try to stream around this now on all streams around 5, 6-ish. P.M. E.S.T. Bateman, <sighs> you Pillsbury Doughboy. But here we go, guys. The action underway as our first bout of the evening. Going to see the interesting as ever. Ultimate Motino, actually backed up by Ethan Z in action. He'll be taking on. The debuting Will Ford. Three debuts tonight. Later on, going to see a Caleb. His first matchup takes on anticipated arrival of Mr. Extreme. We've also got our first semifinal matchup in the NGW Championship Tournament, guys, as Gary Reed will be taking on Ryan Riley. We're going to see who takes that first spot in the finals. Who will be the next NGW Champion? Next week, the other semifinal matchup between Jay Money and Anthony Hunt will be going down. But here comes Will Ford, our first look at the newcomer. Ethan Z out here in the corner of the ultimate. Motino is definitely interesting after what happened last week between the two. They failed to get a tag team victory being defeated by the BG Body Boys. Afterwards, Motino was furious. He was displeased, as he said, blaming Ethan Z for the loss, and rightfully so. Motino definitely carried the entire match and did what he could, but basically it was a handicap match. And Motino seemed to almost challenge Z to a one-on-one a -on -one matchup, to which Z responded and accidentally cursed Kind of got down on himself for that and ended up leaving with his head hung low. But Ethan Z said he'd be up for a fight. That he'd love to take on Motino one-on-one. -on -one. But tonight, Motino has got to try to focus on Will Ford, a former MMA competitor. As you can see from the gear, he's got the foot wraps. He's got the gloves. The trunks and all. Not exactly 100% knowledgeable on his background. But uh, I'd have to wager a guess. He's going to be a nasty striker and probably knows a submission or two. So Motino going to have to be on the lookout as here we go, guys. Referee <clears throat> Perry White going to ring that bell. Motito and Ford meet in the middle of the ring. Nice trip up right there. Yo, what up? Wow, hello, Mr. Uh, Miss Extreme, by the way. Did not see you dropping him. What up, Famous? Thanks for stopping by. Nice clothesline right there by Motino, definitely the most unique personality that we probably have here in NGW, probably in all of CMB to be completely honest, is there we go, immediately Will Ford gonna go targeting the arm, oh I guess we're getting a, an early understanding of exactly the type of man Will Ford is a showman stomp to the back of the head there, what, that was a nasty punch that I heard from all the way over here at the announce table Guys, tomorrow, Friday night, Genesis number 124. Quick plug, because boy, is that a great-looking card. Three championship matches, not to mention a huge six-man tag in the main event. You are not going to want to miss it. 
as Motino trips up Will Ford. And here in NGW, we are just two weeks away from crowning the next NGW champion. Tonight, we find out who will take the first place in the finals. Gary Reed takes on Ryan Riley in what should be an interesting matchup. Up next, guys, speaking of championship matches, the Rising Star title to be defended is Zach Smith, who captured the championship two weeks ago, defeating Brandon Rain, defensive for the first time against Nicholas Hemmerling as Motino with a beautiful hammer. Uh, I don't know why I called it a hammer, an elbow, I guess. We'll call it a hammer. That's, that's the name. That's what it is for now. Whenever Motino hits that, it's the hammer. Belly to belly by Will Ford, who is... By no stretch of the imagination, a big man. Definitely on the smaller side, probably the featherweight division when he was competing in MMA. But showing us some power there. So Tito again, obviously displeased that when, after what happened last week, letting his aggression show. Ethan Z watching from ringside. El Jeffrey. <laughs> uh, Motino now going for a head scissors, but... Will Ford able to escape. Got that baby oil on deck. I mean, just look at Ford. He's glistening under the lights here. Wow, nice wrench of the arm. And I think I, I, I'm starting to put it together that Will Ford is... Uh, I put money on him trying to go for an arm submission. Because that's been his largest target in this matchup so far. MMA. Mamma mia, spaghetti. Oh, what a sharp drop kick there by Motino, who now takes it all in, feeling real good about the way he's been competing so far, but he's taking his eye off the ball. There we go, eliminated from the Royal Rumble as Will Ford sent tumbling down to the outside. What up, Suntan, my sweet baby boy? Ready for that killer main event? The Sin City Savior Cam Harris taking on Stevie Wizard. Let's not forget, guys, tonight we're going to be hearing from Dylan Vincent. Going to have a couple of minutes and a microphone in the ring as mounted punches from Will Ford get him the upper hand. A stomp to the gut on the way up. Got to get this fight back in the ring, guys. We have yet to have a count out finish in NGW. Will tonight be the first? Count of six. Motino looks like he's not going to let that happen. Motino has yet to find a victory here in NGW. He's been on every episode since its return. Lost out in a, uh, a first-round matchup in the NGW Championship Tournament. Was actually defeated by Ryan Riley, who later on tonight looks to go to the finals. Up to the top rope, though, guys. And Will Ford is in all sorts of trouble. Ultimate Motino is looking for something nasty here. Superplex by the flamboyant one. Will Ford, guys, looks to be completely out of it. It could be all over right here. One. Just a one count, though. I don't know if anybody's ever kicked out of a superplex at one. But now Motito, guys, going up top. I don't believe we've ever seen him go for any sort of a high-risk offense like this, and it did not pay off. Senton backfires big time. Now Will Ford going to make him pay for it. At least he tries to. Goes low, shoots low, gets a knee. Bicycle knee, countered elbow to the knee and another belly to belly. Yeah, touched on last week. I don't know if Motito uses those knee pads because he... You know, those knee braces, I should say, because he has to if he has a, a prior injury or just for fashion purposes. Dodges that kick down, overhand punch by Matito, straight punch to the face. There's that bicycle knee, the second attempt, and he pulls it off beautifully. Will Ford in big trouble taking the loss here in his debut. One, two, but just a two count. Motino now right back on the attack. Stop down onto the peck here of Will Ford. Now lining up the shot, guys. And Will Ford could be in big time trouble, but an elbow to the side of the head saves him for whatever Motino was going to try for there. And Will Ford does not look happy about the way this match has been going. Trips up the ultimate one. Oh, there we go. Triangle being applied by Will Ford. Middle of the ring, nowhere for Motino to go. But the ultimate one with a show of strength, power bombing Will Ford, using his own maneuver against him. But the damage looks to be done, guys. Motino is wobbly, tries to come back, smashing Ford into the corner, then a power slam to the center of the ring. I mean, obviously, the ultimate Motino is the bigger man of these two as he looks to keep the driver's seat. 
Couple of forearm smashes now. Ducks a close eye. Big old spine buster. That cheeky pelvic thrust. Yes, there it is. Will Ford desperate looking for refuge in the corner. I don't know if he's going to find it. Oh, Motito closing in on him. Stomp to the midsection. Stomp again. Now goes for a third time. Will Ford says enough is enough. Grabs the foot and trips him up. Might have tripped the tooth on the way down. Jawbreaker by Motino. Motino puts so much product in his hair that it's pretty much hardened. So a jawbreaker like that. Though I do not feel good. Motino again clotheslining Will Ford out of the ring. Perhaps trying to send like a subliminal message that he does not belong in the ring with him here. Count of two, Will Ford regains control momentarily. Looks to bring the fight back into the ring. Motito counters the Irish whip attempt though. Now it is he who comes up from behind, elbow to the side of the head again. And look at this, Will Ford. How impressive was that? A spitting Oklahoma stampede. That was awesome looking. Now looks to show off those strikes of his that kick to the chest. Motito moved out of the way, but did not. Dodge that Meteora hook of the leg now by Will Ford. Will it be enough? No, it will not. Will Ford with his hands on his hips, breathing heavily. I'm sure in MMA he learned to pace himself. I'm sure he's got good cardio, but right now he is struggling. This has been a great opening matchup. Will Ford definitely showing us what he's worth. Ends the to counter whatever Motino is going to go for there. And now Will Ford has his way. What in the hell? Will Ford, consequence! The neck of Motino driven right down onto the shoulder. And Will Ford again locks up Motino in that triangle. Motino flailing, can he escape again? Or will Will Ford force the submission? Motino has no choice but to tap and Will Ford is victorious in his debut. Will Ford, ladies and gentlemen, pulls out a fantastic win in his debut, forcing the ultimate Motito to tap out while Ethan Z watched ringside. And I've just received word that next week, Ethan Z will go one-on-one -on -one with Motito. But tonight, Will Ford celebrates a triumphant win. Up next, guys, a hell of a night of action continues. The Rising Star Championship is on the line as the Australian-born Mighty One, Nicholas Hemmerling, receives his first title opportunity in CMB, challenging Zach Smith, who, of course, has been on a, I think he's on a seven-match winning streak now. It was two weeks ago that he defeated Brandon Rain in a fantastic encounter between the two superstars to win the championship per the rules of the time must be defended every two weeks so here Zach Smith is ready to do just that can he get a notch under his belt also keep in mind that if a superstar gets to two defenses with the rising star title they can then cash it in for a championship opportunity on a was in season or Genesis Still got two more debuts coming up. 
including our first look. I'm super amped to see what Mr. Extreme brings to the table. Gary Reed and Ryan Riley in a semifinal matchup, NGW Championship Tournament, and what should be a hell of a main event between Cam Harris and Stevie Wizard as here comes Nicholas Hemmerling. Guys, in a tweet here, from Will Ford says, I came to CMD to do what MMA promotions wouldn't let me do. No ridiculous rules, no single sponsor, just combat. Well, we certainly got quite a tasty look at Will Ford in that opening matchup. Everybody best be on the lookout. That uh, nasty triangle hold of his. <clears throat> Voice is not uh, fantastic, but here we are. <clears throat> Certainly has to be nerve wracking for him. This is his opportunity in his CMB career. But what a colossal chance for the Mighty One. And in order to capture that championship gold, he's got to go through this man who has, as I stated, been unstoppable. A seven match winning streak. First, he won a fatal four way elimination match, eliminated all three of his opponents in that match to earn contendership. Then was able to put down Brandon Rain two weeks ago to capture the title. Got to be nerve-wracking for Smith as well. Will he choke at his first defense? Or will he prove that he is the new big dog in NGW? Here, guys, from the Ultimate Motino now says, I'd like to apologize to all the Matoders in attendance tonight. I got distracted by Ethan Z's boisterous bottom. I mean, uh, the better man won or something like that. See you next week, Z. <clears throat> Vintage Montino, all over the place. <laughs> but yes, she meets Ethan Z one-on-one -on -one next week. The very color colorful battle. See that Nicholas Hemmerling is ready to go as Zach Smith in his own head right now, saying some final prayers, perhaps, if he's a religious man, or just taking a moment, a deep breath, pure concentration on the mind of Zach Smith. Hands the championship off to referee Perry White, who shows it to Hemmerling. Holds it up high for all to see, guys. That beautiful new design by the one and only Hellish. And now let's get it on. Hemmerling. Zach Smith. CMB Rising Star Championship here at NW number three. And a great sign of sportsmanship by the two with a handshake just before the bell rings. That's what I like to see, a respectful bout. Snap suplex right out of the gate by the champion. It's not going to be an excellent start for the challenger. Zack Smith immediately on the attack. Look at a shark smelling the blood in the water. But oh, what a knife edge chop. I don't think I've ever seen a knife edge chop so forceful that it knocks a man off his feet like that. And then a Spanish fly. Nicholas Hemmerling exploding back. Brought his knee down. Oh my God, wait a minute guys. Nicholas Hemmerling, I thought he was going for a sweat. Nicholas Hemmerling has finished off many matches with that. Oh, oh. Catches the, whatever Hemmerling was going for into a power bomb, then draped over the top rope, guys. What a start to this Rising Star title match. Absolutely insane. Yo, what up, Joey? Glad you're able to make it. Second matchup of the night. Rising star title on the line. And these two are wasting no time. Turn it up to 10. First pinball attempt of the match gets only a one count. 
Looking to bring Hammerling down with a reverse STO. A mic check for those who are big Mr. Kennedy fans. See how Nicholas Hammerling is able to shake the cobwebs real quick and catch Zach Smith off guard with that Irish whip. Then a straight palm slap to the chest followed by a rope assisted draw kick. Zach Smith, guys, may have looked past the mighty one from Australia, and he is paying for it big time up to the top rope. There was no feeling out process between these two. The first time they've ever fought. Hurricane Rana or a Frankensteiner from the top rope. How amazing, how awesome is Nicholas Hemmerling as he is all over Zach Smith like peanut butter on jelly right now and his attempt to become the new CMB Rising Star Champion and bring an end to Zach Smith's impressive streak. Counters over Hemmerling was going for in the corner then drops him with a vertical suplex reverse STO. Zach Smith boots the back of the head. Nicholas Hemmerling is now the one reeling. The champ, Irish Ripper to the corner. Now what is he looking for? Kick to the mid south. Oh, Zach Smith paying homage to the 2019 CMB Royal Rumble winner El Jefe with his own version of Fish Dick. The Bronco Buster. Nicholas Hemmerling gets right back to his feet. Not too happy about that, but Smith counters the scoop slam attempt. Reverse DDT. Excellently executed, and now Smith is on the hunt. Nicholas Hemmerling to his seat, unaware of what's coming his way. Zach Smith with a pile driver. It took two of those to put down Brandon Rain two weeks ago. Will it only take one for Smith to retain tonight? No. Nicholas Hemmerling kicks out swiftly with only a few moments to spare, but now Smith is right back on the attack. To the top rope, he goes and not a frequent flyer, but willing to do what he has to to get the win. Leg drop attempted, Nicholas Hemmerling moves out of the way. Great wherewithal, now Nicholas Hemmerling goes for a stomp. Zach Smith moves out of the way, hooked to the jaw up from behind now. Or not, just gonna stare at him. Double accidental does not take Zach Smith off his seat. The second one will though, and again, Ducks the close line, rebounds off the rope, sleeping lariat. Nicholas Hemmerling is feeling it, guys. Here on NGW, number three, rising star title on the line. Who is leaving NGW episode three with the rising star championship as Hemmerling again and from the same corner with a Frankensteiner. Hooks the leg. One, just a one count though. These guys kick it out of top rope maneuvers like it's nothing. <laughs> these are maneuvers that can end big matches. And these fellas are like, nah, didn't even hurt. Tickled a little bit. Nicholas Hammerling has to realize that <laughs> Zach Smith came super close to pitting him. Just a few moments ago off that pile driver. Hammerling is going into overdrive and we've seen him hit this before. Nicholas with the DDT out of the corner, spiking Smith right in the top of his head. Zach Smith, I would have thought would be in La La Land. Snaps right back to reality though. Charges in, scoops up Nicholas Hemmerling who counters with a reverse DDT of his own. Now Hemmerling to the top rope. Nicholas, I thought he was gonna hit this at the start of the match. Now I believe he actually is perched up high. The challenger, the mighty one, the Aussie. Going for that swan on bomb, but then Zach Smith begins to stir. Nicholas Hemmerling has to make sure he stays down. Now again, he travels to the top rope. Will Zach Smith ruin his idea finish, he does. What a troll. What a troll Zach Smith is being right now. <clears throat> Nicholas, like you son of a bitch. I'm just gonna pin you. Enough. One, two, but just a two count. For the challenger here in this Rising Star title match. Yo, what up, Dash? Welcome, welcome. Nicholas Hammerling now, guys. What has been a very brutal, hard-hitting matchup. Just going to result <laughs> to, to staring at Smith here. I don't know that a gaze is going to win him the championship catchphrase, though. 
And look at that perfect positioning slowly, but surely. Finally, Heverling on the third attempt with the Swanton Bomb. Let's get a replay of that. Swanton, all the weight of Heverling, which isn't a lot, but enough across the sternum and ribs. Guys, are we three seconds away from a new champion? One, two, three, we are! Nicholas Hemmerling is the new CMV Rising Star Champion. It has brought an end to the uber impressive streak of Zach Smith. I think Zach Smith underestimated Nicholas Hemmerling here. He was cocky after the impressive role he's been on. And that was his downfall. We have a new rising star champion, Swanton. And Nicholas Hemmerling is handed the gold or the silver. Yo, what up, Jaden, my friend? Just in time to see a new champion crown here at NGW. Zach has got to be beating himself up. But what a win for the mighty one. before getting right back into things with two debuts. And then, of course, a semifinal matchup in the NGW Championship Tournament. Who will take the first place in the finals? Will it be the Dragon, Gary Arita? Will it be a, the psychotic Ryan Riley? And in our main event, it should be a banger. Cam Harris and Stevie Wizard go one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> what a Batman. <clears throat> But before all that, we are going to get a word from Dylan Vincent, <coughs> who debuted on the return episode of NGW two weeks ago, a tag team victory. Last week was involved in that main event, Fatal 4 way elimination match, made it to the final two against Joey Diaz. But unfortunately, would it not be the victor? He and Diaz showing respect to one another on Twitter afterwards. So let's hear what Mr. Vincent has got to say, ladies and gentlemen. So Dylan Vincent saying to the NGW Universe, these past couple of weeks I've fought for you. You know, I've put on these great matches, but not everybody respects me the way that they should. So apparently, somebody has been getting under Dylan Vincent's skin, and I, if I have to take a wild guess at who exactly that is. Because Joey Diaz on Twitter did say, better luck next time, Vincent. I was the better man. And look at that. Dylan Vincent isn't going to run his mouth. Unless he's doing it face to face with Joey Diaz. Dylan Vincent calling out Mr. Diaz, the man who last week eliminated not only Vincent, but also Jaden Shadow and Stevie Wizard in that four way. So here comes Diaz. Cockily making his way to the ring. You see how he shoved the camera guy? I was super impressed with Diaz last week with Vincent as well. 
So let's see what Diaz has got to say in response to Dylan Vincent calling him out here. <laughs> Joey Diaz, I think even more cocky than Dylan Vincent saying he doesn't care what the fans think and he certainly doesn't care what Dylan Vincent thinks of him. Vincent gonna snap back. <laughs> so Dylan Vincent called out Joey Diaz and then I guess he didn't think Diaz was actually gonna come out here and confront him saying that Diaz has got quite a set of grapefruits. <laughs> so Diaz predicting his future, saying that he is the best athlete to ever exist in CMB and a future Hall of Famer, saying that Dylan Vincent will be forgotten by tomorrow. Dylan Vincent not happy about that. Oh, so Dylan Vincent says, I'm not booked tonight. I know you're not booked tonight. How about we stop jerking each other around and actually do something about it? Seems like Joey Diaz is considering it. Dylan Vincent wants a match right here. Oh, <laughs> So Joey Diaz says, Dylan Vincent, you gotta be crazy to want a one-on-one -on -one matchup with me after what happened last week. The best pure athlete in CMB, says Joey Diaz. And the NGW Universe guy seems to want this. So Dylan Vincent responds, saying, Joey Diaz, you are full of it. And you're going to find out the hard way who truly is the better superstar between us two. Wait a minute! Diaz with a low blow right to the nether region. Catching Dylan Vincent off guard. Diaz says enough talk. Where the sun don't shine right to the gonads. Dylan Vincent is dropped swiftly. And now Diaz says the time for talk is over. You want to fight? Then let's fight. He missed that moonsault attempt. Jumped right over Vincent. Vincent now back to his seat. He's got to be swollen right now. He's going to be feeling in the morning. But boy, is he pissed. His rage fueling him. Counters out of the fireman's carry. Reverse DDT. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup I would love to see. I guess we're getting a preview of it right now. As Joey Diaz with a discus, you punch you. And then a clothesline. Joey Diaz, finally, referee Perry White gets out here to contain this situation. Dylan Vincent back to his seat. Security now pouring down the ramp to assist Heaton and getting control of NGW as these two stare each other down. And this has quickly turned into a personal rivalry between these two new superstars. And I cannot wait for the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Yeah, it seems like Joey Diaz, not much of a talker at the end of the day, taking that cheap shot. And then getting the last lap before the two were separated. Now being brought backstage to be dealt with by referee Ken Donahue. But I certainly do hope that Donahue does set up a match between those two because I would love to see it. As I'm going to love to see this matchup right here. Two debuts in NGW as Caleb Finch takes on Mr. Extreme. Still to come tonight, guys. 
Gary Reed and Ryan Riley in a semifinal matchup. In the NGW Championship Tournament, who's going to get the first spot in the finals? Next week, of course, Jay Money battles Anthony Hunt in the other semifinal matchup. And in our main event, Cam Harris takes on Stevie Wizard as here is our first look at Caleb Finch. Yeah, this is the third matchup of the evening so far tonight. Will Ford debuted, forcing the ultimate Motito to tap out. And then we had Nicholas Hemmerling become the brand new CMB Rising Star Champion with a Swanton Bomb finally bringing the streak of Zach Smith to an end. I'm being told that Zach Smith backstage is not happy tossing things all around in his locker room. He is livid and rightfully so, understandably so. We're gonna find out what Caleb Finch has to bring to the table here in NGW. Caleb Finch definitely looks like he is ready for a fight and he is going to get one. The antis a bit Wow, I just botched that. The anticipated debut of Mr. Extreme. And coming out in a quite a, a, an entrance. Mr. Extreme riding a motorcycle. I was that a Harley? You didn't think it was badass enough? <laughs> and it just got very hot in here. Well, I can give Mr. Extreme at least the credit he deserves for his first uh, first time walking into the NGW arena. Yeah, someone's going to trip on that motorcycle. That's got to be moved. That's my parking spot. Mr. Extreme, I'm sure would rather this match be contested under extreme rules, but it is a clean one-on-one -on -one match, so going to have to contain himself for tonight and win cleanly or bend the rules in his favor without referee Perry White finding out. But uh, Caleb doesn't seem too impressed with Mr. Extreme. As here we go, Will Ford debuted successfully at the top of our show. Which of these two newcomers will break onto the scene? Picking up a W as it is Mr. Extreme, who straight out of the gate floors Finch with an STO, then brings him up, only to snap him back down with that swinging neck breaker. Did he just... I, I didn't see the replay. I kind of looked at chat for a second. Did he just bite Caleb's hand? He did. Mr. Extreme just bit Caleb Finch's hand, guys. That can't be illegal. What the hell? Was he trying to butt off a finger? Caleb getting pissed. Fires back. With a fisherman suplex now. As he goes for the legs of Mr. Extreme. I guess that's one strategy. Just bite your opponent's hand off. Mr. Extreme lacking the taste of iron. Irish whip, chest bump though. Sure, it's not for good sportsmanship. Irish whip again. There's a hell of a clothesline that takes Finch down real quick. You think he sucked the finger? Uh, something tells me that maybe he did. I don't know if Mr. Extreme's a... Uh, something tells me he's not normal. Something tells me his hobbies don't include things like going for a walk in the park or reading a nice book on a, on a sunny afternoon. Maybe he's into sucking fingers, but I'm going to take the guess that he, that he, that he bit Taylor Finch there. Off the second turnbuckle, letting us know he's not afraid to take a risk. Blockbuster and a beautiful one at that. Caleb Finchman so far has been getting the work. 
Not just one leg drop, but then, oh, but, oh, two leg drops, nice. I thought he was gonna go for a fish drop there for a second. Throw back to the old school. Kick to the midsection, and Mr. Extreme does not get paid by the hour. Pump handle driver. No time wasted by Mr. Extreme, who now looks to hammer that final nail into the coffin cutter, standing cutter by Mr. Extreme and hooks the leg for the one, the two, and the three, Mr. Extreme. With a decisive win over Caleb Finch. And Caleb Finch, guys, maybe, maybe realizing he, uh, he made a mistake, not showing extreme the respect he deserves and a handshake between the two. Caleb Finch succeeds to Mr. Extreme. At, uh, well, let's put it blunt for Finch. Gotta give props to Mr. Extreme there, man. <laughs> and then a quick put down of Caleb Finch, but props to Finch as well for showing respect and not being salty. What up, Famous? Welcome back. Just in time for our co-main event. So to come in our main event, what could be a show stealer as Cam Harris, the Sin City Savior, battles the... Uh, the unique, to say the least, Stevie Wizard. But first up, we find out who heads to the finals of the NGW Championship Tournament. The Dragon Gary Reed takes on the psychotic Ryan Riley. The NGW Championship matchup takes place in two weeks on NGW number five. Next week... Jay Money battles Anthony Hunt to find out who faces the winner of this matchup here. And Gary Reed, guys, with a very impressive win. First round matchup against Twisted last week. Made quick work of the Luchador. Actually has put Twisted on the shelf after that rolling arm bar of his and then the post-match attack. This is a dangerous man. Not to be taken lightly. But the man that he's up against is equally as dangerous. Gary Reed's going to have the size advantage coming into this matchup. Not much of a size advantage, but it's still there. Ryan Rowley, however, also has a deadly submission hold in his arsenal. That cross arm chicken wing that he's tapped out numerous men with. Of course, he made it through the first round by defeating the ultimate Montino. <laughs> the psychotic one, Ryan Riley, is just two wins away from becoming the new NGW champion, the last NGW champion, of course, was George King, who now over on a match is a very accomplished superstar. The inaugural champion being Raiden. Many people probably don't remember that. He only held it for a couple of weeks before George King then defeated him for it. Ryan Riley is an extremely well-rounded superstar, not just well-rounded, exceeds in all aspects 
a fantastic high flyer, a hell of a brawler, a deadly submission artist. And here we go, the winner of this, whether by pitfall submission countout or disqualification heads to the finals of the NGW Championship Tournament and just might be our next NGW Champion. Referee rings the bell and here we go. Right out of the gate, Gary Reed gonna monkey flip Ryan Riley overhead. I can't stress enough that Ryan Riley. Oh. <laughs> what a kick that was. Ah. That restive kick of doom, Batman. Sun Ted, if you're still here, am I right? Oh my God, though. <laughs> that kick take me, took me right out of what I was about to say. Holy crap. The sound of Ryan Riley's boo off of Reed's skull actually made me crazy, it made me react. Gary Reed with hell of a hard head though to be standing right now and trying to battle back. Catch raise there by Double R who now brings Reed up into a seated position, grabs him by the man bun. Oh, he's quick. Complete shot, not even a running start. Off that second turnbuckle, and I think that Gary Reed has the upper hand in this matchup for not only his size advantage over Ryan Riley, Ryan Riley, probably one of the smallest men, not just in NGW, but in all of CMB, Fusion, Genesis, Unmatched, maybe even Ferocity. And I don't take anything away from Ryan Riley, but I think Gary Reed just has been overlooked for too long, and he proved how dangerous he is last week by defeating Twisted in under two minutes, then attacking him afterwards, injuring Twisted. And in control right now, big discus, you'll punch you. Elbow drop to the chest to follow that up, and right now, Ryan Riley is in all kinds of trouble. Lateral press. Not even a one count, though. Ryan Riley's gonna go down. He's not gonna go down easy. Kick to the chest right there. Rolls out of the way. Does Riley now tries to shoot back in? Gary Reed is quicker. Front head lock, elbow to the top of the head. Snapmare up next, guys, in our main event. Stevie Wizard. Gonna be going one on one with the Sin City savior, Cam Harris, and what could be a show stealer. Of course, we've already seen Stevie Wizard tonight. We'll talk about that more when we get into our main event. Right now, we find out who takes the first spot in the finals in two weeks to crown the next NGW champion. Nice escape there by Ryan Riley. Been over to the side of the head. Kick to the gut, though, as he closes back in. Hook to the jaw from behind. Couple of elbows sets him free from the waist lock. Now staggered is Reed. Ryan Riley tries to capitalize instead of nice clothesline. Modifier clothesline by the Dragon. Now it is Gary Reed who tries to fire off something big to give him the upper hand and the definitive edge. Double R takes it right back. The psychotic one slaps himself awake. Gonna go for that fisherman's neck breaker. Drills him into the mat. One. Oh. Just a one count produced, but that does not occur. Ryan Riley, guys, who's on the hunt. Like a lion closing in on the wounded prey. The cross arm chicken wing. Oh, did you see Gary Reed get the rope break though? Ryan Riley not happy with it. Grouse him by the man bun, throws him into the canvas. That was simply bad ring positioning on the part of Ryan Riley. Gary Reed, well aware of his surroundings, able to grab the rope there and get the break. Otherwise, he may have been forced to submit now. Arms wide open, up to the heavens. Takes a deep breath, calms himself, this Reed. As he takes Ryan Riley, a little bit of a cheeky walk, now a snapmare. Looks to deliver some more offense for Ryan Riley. Oh! I don't even know what just happened there. They kept dodging each other. Half Nelson Netbreaker, I can tell you that much by Ryan Riley. And just like that, the driver's seat is his once again. Pinfall attempt. The psychotic one looks to punch his ticket to the finals. Instead, finds only a one count. 
Soccer ball kick, Gary Reed saw it coming from behind. Hugh shoots and escapes the waist lock, punch to the back of the head. And a Russian leg sweep, keeping it classic. Simple, but effective. Twisting leg drop, bit of, bit of spunk to the damage. He's dealing another twisting leg drop. Ryan Riley, oh, Gary Reed got busted open. When the hell did that happen? I have no idea what he got cracked open off of. But the blood is starting to spill down his face, and that is exactly what Ryan Riley does not want to allow to happen. Gary Reed is now starting to target the arm, and that's going to play into him going for that rolling arm bar that he defeated and injured, twisted with last week. And that's what he's hunting for here, lining up his shot. And if Riley gets caught up in this, like a, like a fly in the spider's web, but counters. Fireman's carry, chucks Gary Reed overhead, elbow to the side of the head, stuns him. Gary Reed sass back to reality. Elbow to the knee, and now a shoulder breaker from the power bomb position, drilled down onto the knee with no remorse. And there we go to the arm, Gary Reed. Looks to tear the shoulder straight out of the socket, but Ryan Riley has no plans of sticking around. Gary Reed tries to keep it locked in, tries to stay in control, but Riley knows the escape and he ain't sticking around. Elbow to the side of the head once again. Gary Reed is taking way too many shots to the head. Way too many elbows now. Both men are down. What a thrilling matchup this has been to their feet at the same time as Gary Reed is a bit quicker. And gonna introduce Ryan Riley face first to that top turnbuckle semifinal matchup in the NGW Championship Tournament. One of these two men will head to the finals and be one step closer to being crowned the next NGW Champion. And Reed going to the top rope. I have no idea what he could be going for here. Fist drop attempted from the high rent district. But it does not pay off for him. Gary Reed snaps off that knee, but Ryan Riley wise enough to roll to the outside, gives himself a moment, takes a deep breath. But Gary Reed has no plans of letting him rest up. Goes to that arm again, so meticulous and vicious. It's Gary Reed as a team, but it's just broken. Ryan Riley's arm with that stomp to the bicep. But Riley lets us know he's okay by chucking Reed back into the ring, but that arm has got to be all kinds of hurt right now. If Gary Reed locks in that armbar, man, there, there's no escape for Riley. He's got to go into overtime. Ryan Riley has got to find a way to finish off this matchup. Oh, that tossing. That, that big toss up in the air and then clipped with a European uppercut on the way down akin to a cyborg big fucking toss. No, Reed! Rolling armbar, hyperextending, middle of the ring, nowhere for Ryan Riley to go. He has to submit, he cannot escape. There's no way, and there it is, Ryan Riley. Must tap before he snaps, and the Dragon is heading to the finals. All match long, he targeted the arm of Ryan Riley, and it paid off in the end. The sound guy uh, botching right now. What an incredible matchup. And you saw Ryan Riley tried as he may. Fought and fought to not tap out for as long as he could. But there was no escape to be had. And he decided to live to fight another day. Instead of being put on a shelf like Twisted was last week. So now we know that Gary Reed will face the winner of Jay Muddy and Anthony Hunt next week. Next week is uh, Jay Muddy, Anthony Hunt, that is. In two weeks will be the NGW Championship match. And Gary Reed very well may be the next champion. Someone's got to check on Ryan Riley. I feared that Riley's arm was broken after Gary Reed stomped on the bicep on the outside, but then the arm bar got locked in and... On one hand, I gotta feel bad for Ryan Riley, but on the other hand, how amazing has Gary Reed been?
Alright, here we go, guys. It is main event time. It has been a fantastic episode of NGW so far. Man, I've been really enjoying NGW. Great shows. A lot of great matches. Tonight was no different, and it's time to cap it off with what could be a show stealer. As two men who were unlucky last week look to bounce back here tonight. The city savior Cameron Harris lost out first round of the NGW Championship Tournament to Jay Money. While uh, Stevie Wizard, of course, was involved in that four-way elimination. He was actually the first man eliminated. Cam Harris, a CMB veteran in a sense, as numerous times he has popped up and competed for CMB, but never for very long. Now he looks to make NGW his home. And although his path to the NGW Championship has been deterred, tonight with a win in the main event could certainly get him right back on the hunt to challenge whoever has crowned the, the new champion in two weeks. Gary Reed versus either Jay Money or Anthony Hunt. We find out next week when those two go one-on-one. -on -one. But of course it was uh, Stevie Wizard who earlier tonight had himself a little bit of a run in with newcomer Eddie Larson who we had a tweet from last week recently signed but didn't want to wait to introduce himself to the CM universe brought himself a list of all the reasons that he's better than everyone else all of the things that he excels in all the things that make him great but before he could really even get started with his list Stevie Wizard would interrupt and say that he has a list of his own which would end up just being a grocery uh, shopping list. Stevie Wizard would then drop the newcomer with his Rough Rider. That, uh, that leg drop lariat of his. So it's already been, been a good night for Stevie Wizard. Let's see if it can get even better. So Cameron Harris, Stevie Wizard, one-on-one -on -one in the main event of NGW number three, and here we go. Stevie Wizard gets the early advantage going right after Cam Harris, leads him up against the ropes and slingshots him back into the center of the ring. Like I said, all night long, this could easily be a great matchup. I know a lot about Cam Harris, not too much about Stevie Wizard, other than the fact that he's very unorthodox. I think you can tell that just by looking at the guy, though. The Stevie kick and... Wasn't it a Stevie kick and the Rough Rider? Or just, I guess, just a Stevie kick. Maybe I was just picturing. Maybe I gotta, maybe I gotta look into the future. Maybe we're gonna get the Rough Rider right here, right now. Maybe Stevie Wizard is gonna be the victor. Not gonna take it away from Cam Harris, though. Snap suplex. At least an attempted one countered into a Northern Light suplex. Excellently done by Wizard. Who was no doubt embarrassed after his performance last week. Eliminated first in that four-way matchup and eliminated pretty early too big chance to make up for it oh oh i like that it's like a i thought he was going for a sleeper slam then dropped it into a i thought he was going for a sleeper hold then dropped it into a slam lion salt to follow that up and right now cam harris who got whooped if we're being completely open by jay money last week up to the top rope following a clothesline wizard is going to take a risk early on. Nope, decides against it. And that was pretty smart, if you ask me. Every time you go to the high rent district, you take a major risk of ending the matchup for yourself. Another great counter by Stevie Wizard into a Northern Lights suplex. Kevin Harris just can't really get started here against Stevie, who's building up for a nasty knee strike right down onto the chest and clipping the chin. Oh, Stevie, wait. What the hell is this? This is this is not PG. Whoa, what a count. Wow. I think that counter was even more impressive than the actual maneuver itself performed by Wizard there. I don't even know what that was. I guess it was a submission targeting the, the knees? That, that wasn't PG, though. Oh, Stevie. 
with the Rough Rider. And Wizard, one, two, just a two count though. And the long haired, big bearded man seems to be a bit baffled. That digging into his bag of tricks was not enough to get the job done there, but we do have a tweet guys from Eddie Larson who says this comedy act will not ruin my orientation for the fans next week. That, but wait a minute, it's Eddie Larson. I guess that tweet was to throw us off. Eddie Larson grabbing a sledgehammer. But wait a minute, he's not going for Stevie Wizard. What the hell, what is Larson doing? Wizard went for Cameron Harris. Hey, distracted, Austin. <laughs> he fired onto the sledgehammer, just disposed of Larson. It won't be a disqualification, guys, because Eddie Larson actually attacked Cam Harris. So continues, why the hell did Larson try to attack Harris though? The only reason I think if he were successful, then Harris would have won via disqualification. But it was not successful. In fact, the farthest thing from And Larson decides to take his ball and go. But perhaps the distraction alone will be enough. Stevie Wizard caught Hammerlock DDT by Harris. Into the pin. What? But what? Eddie Larson, I thought he was leaving. But he came back to the ring and broke. In. <laughs> what? How is that not a GQ? What the hell? Why the hell did he do that? What? Eddie, I, now he's left. Hopefully so, anyhow. I thought he was. <laughs> this job has divulged. An absolute war zone. I have no idea what's going on. And of course it's lagging. That's great. And lagging bad as well. That's beautiful. What the hell though, guys? I, I, I thought that Eddie Larson was trying to attack Cam Harris to cause a disqualification to give Harris the win. But then Harris was just about to win. After that hammerlock DDT, Larson came back down the ramp and broke up the, the pin. Perhaps Eddie Larson wanted wanted for Wizard to suffer a bit longer, I guess. Uh, could be my only assumption. I don't see why else he would have done that. Stevie, though, is trying as he may to fight back after this main event just got spoiled by Larson. Who says that next week he's, he's going to re- orient himself to the CM Universe again and Stevie Wizard had better not interfere but Wizard again, again gonna go for the, what can only be described as a sexual act live on on television here Harris again though does not stick around for very long and I don't blame him oh Harris back suplex then caught up in a German how fluently was the movement by Cam there, then a vertical suplex. Tweet here, guys, from Eddie Larson, who says, I don't befriend any of my future opponents. Next time, let me read my list. While well, meanwhile, hopefully Larson's come running down the ramp to break this up again. Hammerlock DDT into the pit, and that's got to do it. One, two, three. The first one probably would have done it, but the second one works just as well. Cam Harris is victorious far from a fair match though even though this was the one that was targeted by eddie Larson, steve thrown off and with the reservation the savior there's there's eddie larson had to attack harris with a sledgehammer got a dose of it as i honestly not describe what just transpired in our main event but at the end of the day, I can tell you this much. Cam Harris is the one with the win. Wow, that lag. Holy cavoli, I don't like that. Cameron Harris with an assist or, a, or not by Eddie Larson? I'm not sure. Either way, hopefully things become more clear next week 
for tonight, though. A and a boost to his morale. All right, guys, thank you, as always, for tuning in to another awesome episode of NGW. And uh, <laughs> what was definitely a, uh, an unforgettable main event, I think we can at least say. Stevie Wizard throwing, using his magical powers to in insert a little bit of lag. Eddie Larson, it had everything you could ever want. But yes, indeed, if you are new to the stream, we are Xbox One. Exclamation point CMV will let you know more about us. Exclamation point join will give you a link to our website, cmvwrestling.com. If you're interested in having your call in CMV, you are more than welcome to check us out. Exclamation point Discord will give you a link to probably guess it, our Discord. If you are going to join, make sure you join that as well. Because we all... Uh, we're all on there a lot as well, chatting and what have you. And exclamation point Twitter. Oh, I did excla exclamation point Twitter. Just one. Just one. There we go. Official CMV underscore. Shoot on over there. Drop a follow for rankings, updates, signings, match cards. All of that kind of good stuff. Speaking of match cards... Probably in about an hour or two, I will post NGW number four uh, to Twitter. We know, we already know that we're going to get Ethan Z versus the Ultimate Motino and uh, Jay Money versus Anthony Hunt to see who goes on to face Gary Reed in the finals of the NGW Championship Tournament. But what else will be there? You'll have to scoot on over to the, to the Twitter to find out. But guys, thanks again. For tuning in, Noah, what up? Catching the end here, the fishtail. And I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with my terrible voice, for what is going to be a banging Genesis 3 title matches. You are not going to want to miss it. Toodles. Toodles.